Hello and welcome to my channel Tastefully Home Cooked. Today we're going to be making an amazing tuna salad sandwich. If you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos and delicious recipes. And let's get started. You are going to need eggs, only two hard boiled eggs. There are different recipes on how to hard boil eggs, but this is how I like to do mine. Fill a pot with water about an inch above the eggs. I like to eyeball it, but if you wish to be more precise, place the eggs into a pot, then fill the pot with cold water up to about an inch above the eggs. Then remove the eggs from the pot. Now place the pot with the water on the stove on high heat until the water boils. Use a strainer to lower the eggs into the pot. At this time, I like to count 13 minutes of cooking time. In the meantime, I am going to prepare the tuna. For one sandwich, I like to use a one four ounce can of albacore tuna in water. I like the can that says simply tuna with only tuna, water, and salt, and strain it really, really well to remove all the water. Scoop all of the tuna into a bowl. After 13 minutes, it's time to remove the eggs from the pot. Some people like to place the eggs on ice water, but I just place the eggs on the bowl and then fill it with cold water from the faucet. Now I leave the eggs in the water for a short while until they are cool enough to handle with my hands. Now it's time to prepare the vegetables and chop them. I cut about half inch rind from an onion, about half of a medium sized red bell pepper, and I remove the seeds, and also about half inch cut from a tomato, and I also remove the seeds. Finally, I use half of a lemon and a celery stick. I like to chop my onions very finely. I also chop the pepper in small pieces. And now I do the same thing with the tomato, but I like to leave the tomato a little bit chunkier.
Now it's time to chop the celery. Again, I like to leave the celery pieces a little bit chunky. Then we will squeeze the half lemon and I like to use my hands to catch the seeds. We are going to add about half a teaspoon of salt and black pepper to your taste. Now it comes a fun part, peeling the eggs. When peeling the egg, I begin by tapping gently the bulging round top part of the egg. Then I roll it over my cutting board to break the shell in small pieces. If the egg is fresh, it will be harder to remove the shell and the membrane will probably stick to the egg. My eggs are fresh about two days old. So it was a little bit difficult to peel, but not impossible. One week old eggs are ideal for easy peeling. Since these eggs are going to be mashed, I am not too concerned with the overall appearance. Now it's time to mash the eggs with a fork. Add the eggs to the tuna mixture. Add about one teaspoon of Dijon mustard and a heaping tablespoon of mayo. Now it's time to mix with a fork. You can use a stand mixer with a pedal attachment, but I like to do it by hand. And I take some time to mix it really well. I keep mixing with a fork until my tuna salad looks almost creamy. I like to use mild Swiss cheese on my sandwich, but you can use any cheese of your preference. I also like to use lightly toasted bread. Now it's time to form our sandwich. This is just absolutely delicious. This sandwich with the cheese, it is fabulous. And 
friend, I hope that you liked this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I wish that you have a fabulous and very blessed day. See you soon. Bye.